Welcome to Webstyle Press. How to add images in React.js. I have created video on this. This is update. I am using React 18. We can add image in React one by one. Multiple images referenced in a file. Images from JSON file. Images from SRC directory. And images from public directory. In multiple ways. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, back to the topic. I have two folders named as images. One in SRC directory and the other is in public directory. SRC directory, images, it's got 1.png, 2.png, In public directory, we have got directory named as images. It's got 3.png, 4.png, 5.png. Here is how we use single image. Import it. Import. Name the import. I'm naming it logo. From images, logo.svg. This is being imported from SRC directory. And then use it like this. By using the import name logo. We can also use images directly without importing like this. Images one dot png this image from images directory from src directory save and this is the image this is also being called from src directory and it's using require another way is to create a file with the images inside src directory inside images directory we've got index.js file inside it i will declare a const with the name images it's an object and I will use images in this object. IMG1, IMG2, require 1.png, 2.png. Now these are key value pairs. Require is being used here. This is also necessary. Now we have to export it because this is a JavaScript file and it will be treated as a module. So export default images. And here we will import it, import images from images index.js. And then we will use images from this file. IMG src images IMG1 and IMG2, like here. one and two from src directory we can also use images from public directory public directory is not processed by webpack use images directly img src images this is the folder name or directory name inside public directory. 3.png, 4.png. Save and here these are from public directory. No require, no import, no curly braces, just plain regular syntax for the images. We can also place images from URL like a remote image like this this is the image just use image path as we do for an image and we can also use images from a json file like here i have got a json file images.json 
in src directory. Now see the contents of this file. This is JSON file. Notice double quotes. Here in index.js file, we didn't use double quotes, but this is JSON, so we have got double quotes. So it's not like in JavaScript file containing an object, it is JSON. No require, just image path, but path is from public directory. It's 4.png, 5.png, these images from public directory. It will use images from public directory and no export for this file because it's a JSON file, not a JavaScript file, but we will import it. Like this import, name the import from images.json. This, this is the file name, images.json. So we'll use this imgs now here. Let's use map method imgs and an imgs dot map item return. div key item dot id this is the id and this is img img src item dot img save and here are those images and that's it in a react application it is usually best to place images in the public directory. The public directory is meant for assets that need to be available to the client, such as images, fonts, and other files. The src directory is meant for source code, and usually it should not contain assets. In the public directory, we reference the images using a relative path, and from there, they are served by the web server. And if the images are in src directory, we import images in component file. In this case, Webpack loads images. But as I have shown you, we have got multiple ways of using images in React.js. Doesn't matter images are in public directory or in src directory. By using these methods, we can use images from anywhere in the application. So this is how we can use images in React.js project. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.